So getting into some field surveys, like I said, there were two beds upstream and downstream of the dam. Now, what I showed you before with those dots, those were sturgeon observations, not the exact coordinates of the spawning beds. Can't really give you that information, but it gives you a relative idea of where those beds are to the dam. Each bed has five 130 meter transects. You can see that in my graphic I have over here. So the square in between those lines represents the spawning beds. And then each of those long lines represents the transects or what the boat followed to monitor sturgeon. Now, what's really cool is transects one and five, so the transects on the very end there, they're not on the spawning beds at all. And the transects are way longer than the spawning bed. This is done on purpose to increase the area that they're monitoring so that they're not trying to just pigeonhole or get a very precise look at a spawning bed. They're trying to widen that, that sampling area up a little bit. Let's see here. So the field samples, they were conducted from late March to about mid-June, again, trying to follow when sturgeon spawn. And then each survey was recorded using an underwater video camera attached to the transect boat. So the boat that followed the transects, they had a little camera and they got to record uh, sturgeon as they went along. And this is a great example of that. Hopefully I'll be able to play this here, we'll see. But this is a good example of what we were looking at. So this is the underwater camera footage. Now note, this is a, this is a really good day. I'm spoiling you guys a little bit with this footage, if it'll play for me. Let's see here. Oh, oh, excellent. So usually you're just seeing one or a couple sturgeon here. You get to see them packed up together. Really, really cool. I've seen this maybe about 50 times and I still geek out every time I see it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So getting into the video analysis of everything. So during sampling, the camera was attached to a GPS unit, which allowed the team to know their exact coordinates so that they could follow those transects as closely as possible. And back in the lab, looking at the recorded footage, so the total number of lake sturgeon per transect was counted, so you get a total for each transect. And then the coordinates of each individual sturgeon was noted. So every time they saw a whole sturgeon on the camera, they would note the coordinates of that sturgeon and then record that in their data set. Other factors that they recorded 